Okay, so let us see if common sense prevails. Uh, we know that for the A, I can have this as Ry reaction force, or I can have this as Ry reaction force. I can pick any. Uh, I can draw any in my free body deck. But let us see which one makes more sense. How many downward forces we've got? We've got a downward force at B, and we've got a downward force here. Uh, well, looking at this, I would go for this one. Doesn't matter if you pick this one, but let us take that one. Now let's look at the excess. I can have a reaction force here, or I can have a reaction force here. Uh, I can pick any. It's not wrong, you can pick any. But let us see co what common sense tells us. Uh, I've got a component of force here for the R1. So let me go for this one. Remember, you can pick a uh, reaction force in any direction, just use common sense, that will make life a bit easy. So in simple words, your, your, uh, your uh, field by diagram would look something like this. You've got a reaction force, you've got two reaction forces here, and you've got active forces. And that's, you have to put all the dimensions and the information needed to do to calculate the, the unknowns. So the question is here that we need to find the reaction at A. So we are after AX and AY. So gentlemen, the question of equilibrium, find me AX and AY. Um, sir, AX is coming out to be 100 newtons and AY is coming out to be 233 newtons. A, A, X. What, what, what's, what's your your reactive force at the at the at point B? 200 newtons. 200 newtons. Okay, let's see others. Others are about the same.
sir ax is 100 uh, newtons and ay is 233 okay is that what you're getting yes, yes sir. sir okay so let's have a look uh, my answer comes out to be positive so it means that the direction assumed here is right my ay is also positive so the direction assumed here is right similarly that's also positive so this is also assumed right. If, if I had, if I had uh, assumed a y in this direction, then my answer would have been negative. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. 